which player has uh, out strategized your team the most well i can tell you there's a number of players that are kind of unique right i mean uh, when you look at the best players in in the league and the best players in the world guys like james harden Giannis Antetokounmpo, LeBron, Steph Curry, you know, Dame Lillard. I mean, you, these are players that are so unique that, you know, they force you to, to plan for your opponent differently. And there's probably about 10 of them uh, throughout the league. Three of them are in Brooklyn right now. So that's an incredible challenge. Um, but yeah, I'd say there's probably about 10 to, 10 to 12 players in the league right now that when you, uh, you know, when you face them on any given night, they're going to challenge your, your defense in, in ways that in some ways, you know, there is no way to really approach it. You, you've got to throw multiple looks at them. They're just so good, right? Their ability to shoot the ball, their size, their length, their explosiveness. Uh, it really is unique. There's a thin slice of, of, of players in this league that uh, they just make it look so easy. And unfortunately for us, De'Aaron Fox, you know, is trending in that direction for us. So it's an exciting time. You coached uh, young boys for majority of your life from your high school uh, coaching career to college to now NBA. What is the major difference between coaching uh, young boys at the amateur level to now at the professional level? You know, young players early in my career compared to the NBA, uh, so many similarities, to be honest with you. Players are players. Uh, people are people. You know, they feel the same emotions. They, they you know, they feel the same pain when, when you lose and, and when you fail and you feel the same joy when you win and you have a great game and you perform at the highest level. Uh, for us, you know, our job is to try and inspire them and also bring clarity to performance so that they understand what we're doing and what the game plan is and the person they're going to guard on a given night. We're just trying to kind of dump a lot of that clutter that might be in their mind so that they can just perform in a, in a great zone with confidence. Um, you know, the difference in the NBA is that, you know, there's just so many more things that, that surround the athletes, you know, some of it internal from a resource perspective, coaching staff, performance staff, uh, you name it, uh, you know, fans, uh, just, just the media, there's, there's all these things that surround the sport that, you know, when you're in a high school situation, and even to some degree, when you're a college situation, you don't necessarily deal with. Um, so, you know, yeah, absolutely some, some real differences. Uh, but at the same time, you know, some some amazing similarities yeah so uh, i continue to learn every day but i, I can tell you this uh, the, the from a performance perspective bigger faster stronger right i mean you get on the court every night in the nba and you've got guys who are you know 6 10 240 pounds flying up and down the floor and uh, fortunately i didn't see a lot of that when i was a high school coach can you talk to us a little bit about your rookie uh, tyrese Halliburton? because we think he's uh, he's the real deal and yeah. uh, like a lot of our listeners also think that you know he's uh, up there uh, to be you know rookie of the year but even otherwise also like you know amazing player the most impressive thing about Tyrese Halliburton is his confidence mm -hmm. and I would say to you that you know for any player at this level um, you know it, it takes a tremendous amount of confidence in who you are I mean Tyrese Halliburton is you know, he's tall he's about six five six six he's long he can shoot the ball, but he, he's not going to jump over. Like he's not a crazy athlete. He's a good athlete, but he's not explosive in, in ways that some other guys in the league are, but he, his mental attributes, you know, his ability to stay focused, his ability to bounce back when he makes a mistake and move on to the next play and his, his ultimate confidence and willingness to, to put it all out there every night and try to be the best he can is what separates him. And he's got this great energy, not on, not only on the court, but off the court and clearly, you know, probably the most impressive thing about him is the way he plays is all about winning. You know, if he scores 10 points in a game, uh, he'll get you five or six assists and, you know, a bunch of rebounds and get a key steal, or he can come out on a night and get you 25 and help you that way. So for a rookie player to have that impact on, on, on a game at this level is really, really impressive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's certainly our rookie of the year, but, there's been some tremendous rookies in the league, you know, the mellow ball, what he's doing in Charlotte and Anthony Edwards and what he's doing in Minnesota. So, you know, it, that'll be for, you know, whoever decides, I don't even know who decides rookie of the year. Maybe it's media or fans. I don't know how that, that award is, is voted upon and presented. I mean, he'll certainly put himself in that conversation and, 
regardless of whether he wins it or not, I can tell you this, we're just really happy he's a Sacramento King. That's for sure.